I am on my way to Raft Room, Idaho. Uh, as many of you know, we're 509 boys, so it's a little bit of a drive, but um, I hooked up with my buddy Thomas at the Motoman. They are a sales group that represents various different brands to dealers and uh, different shops that you may uh, frequent. So uh, they supply them with new products, the, the new stuff coming out, make sure everybody's on the same page. And uh, so I just called them, it's like, hey, what's, what's new in the tire and wheel game? who's got something different and uh, something that's uh, maybe would be an interesting story to tell on our Idaho BDR trip where we're putting, you know, 1,300 miles plus on these machines. Um, you know, is there somebody out there coming out with a new product that would be different, interesting to try out and test for our viewers? Um, and he said, yeah, there's a new brand called Brave and Off-Road and um, they are a manufacturer, they're a newer manufacturer to the UTV game, but they're an established brand um, in other areas of uh, the off-road world. And uh, they got some new tires out, um, and uh, we're gonna go see what we can pick up. We were uh, looking for a shop that had the new Braven tires and wheels in stock, and uh, come to find out that Jeremy at Perfection Tire uh, in Rathrum said, hey, got a set of uh, the new blood axes and uh, you're more than welcome to come get them. And so that's what we're doing. And uh, look forward to checking them out. They look pretty aggressive, pretty mean. Um, Looks to be a really great tire. They're DOT approved, um, eight fly. And so uh, perfect for what we're gonna be doing, traveling the trails of Idaho, but also on road. Uh, for quite a bit of miles as well. So having a DOT tire um, is going to be a huge win uh, specifically for this trip. But um, I didn't want to just go get any kind of wheels and tires that just everybody has seen a hundred times. Uh, I wanted to try something different, something new. And so we got uh, a full set of 32s. Going to go on the, the Razor Turbo. Awesome is it that right below the sign they have a KRX just hanging out. All right, so we finally made it over to Perfection Tire. This is Jeremy Coffin. Yep. Yep. And uh, he owns Perfection Tire here in Rathrum, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, we I talked to Thomas about you know what's new in the industry, what's kind of a new tire wheel combo that we could possibly try on the Razor mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So. Uh, he said Braven, right? And yep. it's a newer brand, something that people really aren't familiar with. Yes. Um, so kind of explain what we're looking at today. So Braven Off-Road is a subsidiary, basically is, is a new version of a Pitbull tire. It is their UTV and ATV version. Um, they've come out with some pretty amazing products, uh, sizing basically in their Braven Berserker uh, from a 2812 all the way up to a 3515. Um, and then this is the Braven uh, Blood Axe sizing from a 2814 all the way up to a 3515. Uh, the Blood Axe is a very lightweight tire. The, the Berserker is a little heavier tire, but still a very good off-road tire. And we're saying um, lightweight in regards to their sizing and carcass sizing, sizing and right? carcasses. Yeah. Uh, they're all 8-ply radials. Uh, they're DOT. all DOT approved yep. um, on all their UTV sizing. Um, they do have some smaller sizing, like I said, the 28s that people are starting to run actually on larger four-wheelers. Um, so I've been really impressed with them. I haven't ran the Berserker a lot, but I ran the uh, the Braven. Um, you no, ran the, the Berserker, Berserker I did run, but yeah. not, not the Blood Axe, and I was very impressed with it. Yeah. Um, this is a 2018 uh, Polaris Turbo S. Uh, we've done a lot of work to it. Uh, it's got basically all kinds of zebra suspension on it. It's got the live valve box suspension. I did do a uh, boondocker stage three dominator kit. So it's running somewhere around 200 horsepower on pump gas. Um, we've got the 35, 10, 15 blood axes on it. I'm personally have got uh, bead locks on them. Bead locks are kind of a different situation. They lock the tire to the wheel for air down situations. Um, if you are a, a, more of a road rider, beadlocks aren't necessarily 
a must have, but if you're in the sand dunes or airing down or doing a lot of rock crawling, it just allows the tire not to spin on the wheel. Um, and so this is the platform you've been testing on. Yes. Yeah. I've, I've been really impressed with it. Um, I, I've ran these, the, the blood ax, um, on a few different vehicles, a few buggies. Um, but so far everything's been real good. They're, they're known to do really well in the snow, the mud, uh, off-road rocks. They've got a heavy carcass on them without being a super overweighted tire. Uh, the reason I put the blood axes on is with the, the other ones before I did the larger turbo, they were pretty heavy. Um, so I'm pretty anxious to get out and run this thing around. Um, we might do that here in a little bit, yeah. take it for a little ride. Um, so they have a, they have a, they're a lighter tire, but they've proven to be just as stiff and just yes. durable. So yeah, far. the car, the, the construction and the carcass of it, uh, as far as strength through the center of the tire, where you're going to be hitting and jabbing the rocks as you've seen on earlier, is probably two to three times what your factory tire is going to be. Right. So when you're getting up uh, up in the shale and the rocks, and you know where we go and all these machines, stumps, um, it's going to basically protect you from punctures. Right. Um, so going down the trail, everyone says the carnivores are a great tire. They love them. And, and, I'll, and I'll be the first to admit, that's probably one of the best OE tires that's ever come out. Yes. Um, um, but as we've seen on the push test, uh, the carcass is pretty soft. It is very soft. Um, so I'm thinking you're going to have a little bit stiffer probably ride with the, with the Braven tire. However, you're going to have a lot better, uh, you're coverage better on control, and, control and because it's not a flat top, it's going to have a good turning radius yep. and all that. So and a lot better coverage from puncture, right? Which nobody wants to have a flat tire when they're out right. playing on their side by side. And so something else that we noticed was these tires measure true or a little bit taller. They, they measure measurement. about a half inch taller than their true, what they say on the sidewall. So this is a 3510. It actually measures about 35.4. Um, the, the true 10, they are a little narrower, but the actual bulge of the tire is the 10. This is actually about nine and a half. So when we're talking about the coverage pattern on the tire, as far as what's meeting the ground, right? Mm -hmm. uh, having a wide tire is great for traction and getting Snow, going sand um, but not necessarily for your daily driving for your handling right yeah, so if you're handling. at speed and you're wanting to steer around and it, do all that exactly. a bigger tire is going to be a problem a bigger tire and a wider tire is going to make it harder to steer right. where a narrower tire you're going to be easier on steering uh, a little bit quicker reactive um, the big fat tires are great in certain aspects when you're airing down sand snow but um, for most driving buggies with the way most people run them uh, the narrower tire is the future basically and so we're going to be doing a 1300 mile trail ride essentially mm -hmm. and if we had a big squared off tire that could potentially give me more steering bump back and possibly even take out my tie rods in certain yep. situations it's going to be more wear and tear on your machine right so we're looking forward to getting these on the on our car not 35s we're going to be 32s 30. on our razor yeah. And uh, yeah, pretty excited to try them out and see how they do, especially after 1,300 miles. Yeah, it'll be an interesting. It'll story be a to true tell. test. So the 3110-15 Max is carnivore stock off of a KRX, and this is a 30 9.5 14 from Braven Off Road uh, on their Blood Axe. Just go ahead and push on that uh, carnivore there. Look how soft that uh, carcass is. Just pushing with his thumb or his hand. Now push on the Braven tire. 
he's having to put his body weight into it to actually make it collapse. So what do we got here? We got a what two, it, 18? 2018 Polaris Razor Turbo S. Okay. Uh, basically I've got the Pro Armor doors on it, Pro Armor seats on it. There's a Pro Armor race cage. Uh, we got 35, 10, uh, 15 Braven blood axes on some MSA bead locks. Uh, it is the, the Live Valve Fox dynamic suspension. Uh, we had this was one of the first ones that came out, so Flowmaster r and d the exhaust. So it's got Flowmaster's uh, race exhaust on it. Um, I did do the Boondocker Stage 3 Dominator Turbo Upgrade kit on it uh, with the heavy duty blow off valve and the clutching. Um, we did SMB's uh, particulate filter separator. Uh, it has all uh, SSV work sound system in it. Uh, there's even an actually a tin underneath the dash. Uh, Deviant Race Products built me the front bumper. Uh, custom actually tags into the frame, so it's actually not for looks. It's actually a functional front bumper. So, what kind of riding do you normally do with it? Um, here in the Northwest, it's a little bit of an aggressive machine for the Northwest, but. Uh, my, my, my buggy usually is up at Priest Lake, honestly, and there's just hundreds and hundreds of miles of dirt roads and off-roads and logging and trails, and so we usually are, are up in the, in the woods almost every weekend playing up in the high mountain country. Um, haven't gotten a huge chance to get it to the sand dunes. I'm pretty excited to, um, just because I'm going to put some race gas in her and it should be around 225, 230 horsepower got to be fun in the sand in, right so. so are you uh are you a st anthony's guy or a coos bay or um, winchester it'll be i'm gonna probably take it down to st anthony's yeah um i gotta get it out in the open everybody around here says moses lake and those aren't sand no, dunes. So. those are moguls those are puddles <laughs> and moguls so uh i'm gonna get it out in some real sand dunes and, and maybe see what we can do get some air and boondockers down there too yes boondockers maybe. down there so if something <laughs> happens they can help me out well, she's a pretty machine, bud. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun one.